Hello, my name is Taylor Killian. I live in Belmont, Massachusetts. I've been wondering how important the connection is between feeling charity toward others and being able to fulfill my personal ministry and witnessing of Jesus Christ. Okay, so you're in a prison and you're surrounded by, you know, those who have been convicted by, you know, for some serious crimes, yet... How did feelings of charity for those all around you help you to continue to stand as a witness of Jesus Christ, even while incarcerated? Well, it goes back, I think Melissa teed it up best um, in Acts chapter 9, and this is in verse 15, where Jesus says to Saul that, uh, you know, he is a chosen vessel unto me. And it felt like a really good opportunity um, where I could empathize with people that are in similar situations that, that I was in. As I had mentioned earlier, you know, from the first day that I was in to the very last day or the first week to the last week, I had the opportunity to teach and answer questions about the gospel. Fresh off, you know, um, I, I, I was conditioned to go through and do morning study. And the, the difference of in my environment when I was in New York City, I was studying and trying to go to battle, right? And try to proselyte where in reality, now I was in the process of studying to not only answer questions for myself, but also answer questions for others that didn't necessarily have the insight, you know? Because we all had questions, right? right? And we were all going through situations, but the toughest thing when it comes to the gospel is that we all have answers to these questions, but until you are in a situation where you really have to answer these questions for yourself, you don't necessarily know what you're gonna do. Paul, when he was Saul, was the guy throwing people in jail. Mm -hmm. He was the guy like wrongfully accusing people and, and locking them up, you know, and, and maybe, maybe he ran into those people in prison. Right. It probably didn't go well for him. <laughs> um, so, so maybe they gave him some additional perspective. Maybe that helped him have a, the kind of positive mm -hmm. response that he did to know that, you know, he himself maybe wasn't guilty of this sin, um, but he was guilty of these other sins. Maybe it was like a kind of a restorative justice opportunity for him to kind of be there. Mm -hmm. And then also maybe it gave him charity for the, for the administrators as well and the, the Jewish um, religious leaders who were so threatened by him because he could see himself in them. So maybe that helps us as well. Like when, when life isn't fair um, and when things are unjust, we don't have to ignore that, but we can also have charity for everyone as Christ did. Mm -hmm.